Living an out-of-the-box lifestyle in your 1975 combi can be a full-time job. Good afternoon, the Insider SA. My name is Edgan Swanapool. I'm on my way to Clarence in Turkey to enjoy a weekend in the mountains. Etienne's travels are a natural way to stumble upon out-of-the-way gems and bring them to the world. There you go, guys. I've just stopped at my favorite camping spot in South Africa, the bus stop in Clarence, the Golden Gate. So it's getting darker. So I'm first going to put up my fire, then setting up a dirky for the night and enjoy the rest of my week here. Hello there, I'm Luzita from the bus stop here in Clarence. I'm the owner of the bus stop and I just want to welcome you guys here to the establishment. The bus stop is definitely a very popular campsite that we have here because of the location. It's at the entrance of Golden Gate, which is very beautiful with the, the Drakensberg and the Maluti Mountains. We are very central here in this area. We are about three hours from Bloemfontein, Durban, from Gauteng. So to get out of the city life, it's a perfect place to be, to camp. I'll say, so if you're on the set, what my five minutes is a stool, a camp stool, and an awning on to go back to the on. Yeah, so the trip was lekker, Turkey behaved, both of us made it to Clarence. I'm from the big city, Joburg, so I come to Clarence to relax and enjoy the quietness of these camps in the mountains. A bed at the office is a mark of a poor work-life balance. But for this BCom marketing graduate, it allows him to eat and sleep his subject while living a road tripper's dream. Yo, what a good sleep in the combi last night. Couldn't ask for more in nature. But now it's time for coffee. No instant stuff here. The man does things ordentlich. On his blog, Africa with Et, it is important to seduce the audience with rituals, not only wow them with spectacle. As a content creator, I travel South Africa often, so it was easy for me just to put everything that I need on a daily basis into one space and travel with that. So I've decorated a combi to be home away from home. I have a big enough bed for me to sleep on with some storage units underneath. Uh, fully operated kitchen where I can cook any dinner and I've added a desk that can serve as a working space on the road. The combi life is self-sustainable for me because I have some solar on which provides me with power to run a fridge. This was one morning a shower could wait as there was every chance Etienne was going swimming. Here we go, I say, there's all we can do Jason, I can you I will not first slap I can not Sorry, I can't Hey, Oli. Welcome, welcome. This is the Hey, man. Good, how are you? Good, thanks, and you? I'm doing very good, thank you. So this is going to be your flotation device for today. Okay. It's a, it's a life jacket, but uh, it doesn't give you life. Yeah, just okay. makes you float. Uh, cool. Okay. I'm excited about this activity, especially to see Clarence from another point of view. There's nothing better to see it from the river, I think. I've known Etienne for roughly about six years now. We originally met through a beard group, which did a lot of charity work. I, I tend to keep track of where he's going at all times, and whenever I do have a bit of a free gap, then I try to get there before him, because. Uh, my car goes a bit faster than the bus. <laughs> Fortune, my man, is basically going to be your guide on the boat, and then you're going to have tubs as well and a kayak, which is an extra safety guy. And they're going to brief you exactly how the ins and outs is, what you need to do and what you need not to do. And then it's a matter of jumping on the river. What's nice about the river is every rapid's got a name. So we've got car wash and we've got long drop waiting for you, and then we've got bridge rapid as well, you know. It's just fun bashing through that. Running whitewater adventures on the Ash River is another unconventional career choice. In this case for ex-cop turned Rastafarian, Oliver Esplin. Clarence is known for its whitewater rafting because we've got uh, the only river in the country that's got water the whole year round. Every day of the year there's water. This water is coming from Lesotho all the way through the Katsi Tunnel system 
and therefore we've got rapids and river rafting every day of the year and that makes it worthwhile coming to visit. Extreme adventures are a different market to the art lovers who flock to the galleries around Clarence, but small towns must diversify to keep their heads above water. As for Etienne, he did end up getting that morning swim. The rapids didn't look as bad from far away, but I think the moment that the boat started going sideways, I looked at Etienne and the next moment it was just water. But I mean, it's you on top of Etienne, the boat is still on top of you, now you're trying to get out of everything. You come up, it's dark, you're trying to miss all the rocks. It was a bit scary, but uh, yeah, it was, was fun. Definitely scary, but I get the stadium to feel that I can't get up. So I can check if the five, seven seconds was a corner of water. I feel it if I get up and I suck it again in. But it was like, oh, it was give a... it another shot. And I'm going to sit on the other side so that it's not you. Far from just indulging in adrenaline, bouncing between the bottom of the Ash River and quad biking big country, Etienne is continually telling stories. His YouTube channel is filled with quirky titles like Wedding in Volmeranstadt, Fishing for Dinner in Sondach River, or Travel for an Elopement. In this case, he was taking a short pilgrimage with Luzetta, as if to say, Spain and the El Camino can wait. There's meaning and food for the soul to be found along the path in a cave far closer to home. Okay, guys, we just did the walk from the bus stop or the bus stop uh, here to the cave. It's actually the shorter part of the trail. It's part of a longer trail, longer hike. It's the Pilgrim's Route. The Pilgrim Route is actually about three kilometers long. It's a spiritual walk. So along the way, you will see scriptures on the rocks. And then we end up here in the cave where the waterfall is, the living waters. So that makes it actually quite different from all the other hikes in the area because it's a spiritual walk. But we just did the, the short trail from the bus stop here to the cave where we just had this nice smurk coffee and condensed milk and the jaffles. So how it's nice to do landscape photography in South Africa is to give our land everything for us. We have the best rivers, the best rivers, the best rivers, the best rivers. We have some snow in the year. And it's nice to see all the good things in one specific land. We have to see all the good things in the good things in the good things. And we have all the good things in our land. I think this was a perfect end to a good day in Clarence. The quad bikes was quite fun. We got to see some of the mountainside. Mountain rangers got to take some cool photos. And I um, mean, this waterfall with the picnic, it just rounds it off beautifully. I can't wait for us to do the pizza night tonight. Creating luxuries in a place you'd never expect makes the van life rewarding in so many ways. So it's very easy to be self-sustainable to be in the van life. For others, as for now, when you're looking for food, you need to have a pizza bread. But it's very easy to make a pizza on my own before you can make it easy. For Etienne, five-star hotels can't hold a candle to bride pizza enjoyed under African skies. And come morning, you'll find him back in the saddle, riding out. Thank you to Insider SA for joining me on this trip. Time to hit the road for the next location. Hope to see you guys soon. Lekker blij, Durkie. And thank you, Ed, for showing how outdoor living can be such a joke.